Right. Now, all I need is a way out after I get the thing. That will do nicely. I'll just bungee up there and I'm home free. Then. That wasn't so bad, and well worth the trouble, I'd say. Jammy old girl, with that little bauble, I'll be able to outfit you with all the latest kit, and buy more than enough petrol to get us anywhere we want to go. All I need to do is fence this ruby, and then next stop, the famous drains of Europe. Hello? Um, ahoy? Permission to come aboard? Anyone home? No! Look out! Ah! Ah! You clumsy, half-witted trespasser! Right, well, the trespassing bit's accurate, I suppose. But I'm not half-witted, and certainly not clumsy. A bit accident-prone, perhaps. What are you doing on my boat? Yes, well, I was told you might be able to give me a ride home. I'm in a bit of a jam. So am I! Now get off my boat! I'm not running a taxi service! Perhaps we should start over. My name is Roderick St. James. Of the Kensington St. James's? Oh! Well, why didn't you say so? Get lost? Sir! Hey, shh! Shut it! I think I heard something. Stay down and keep quiet. Why? Who are you hiding from? There are some rather nasty rats after me. Now stay quiet. Fine. I'll just hide over here, then. Stealth is my speciality. You know, Spike, I think I hear something, too. Over there! You idiot! Sorry! Sorry! Don't let her get away! It's not my birthday. It's only Tuesday. Now, about that ride. That was cutting it a bit close, don't you think? Nothing to it. Wasn't worried a bit. Piece of cake. Yes, well, I think perhaps we've had enough cake for one day. You should relax, you know. You'll live longer. Not if I stay on this boat, I won't. What did you say? <laughs> nothing. Nothing at all. Well played, Rita. We seem to have given those rats the slip. We made quite a team, you and I. Team? Team? They must have some other meaning for the word team up top. I didn't see you do anything but hold on for your stinking life. Yes, well, I did hold on in the most nautical fashion I could manage. You might not believe this, but uh, this is my, well, my first time at sea. Not big sailors, the St. James's. You don't say. It hardly shows. Really? You think so? No. Look, next time, if you want to help, you can man the crossbow. Doesn't require much nautical skill, and it sure helps keep the vermin off your tail. Oh, always wanted to dabble in archery. Can you give me a few pointers? Nothing to it, really. I'll show you. Stop messing with those rats and get yourself up front, you... you, you. We've hit a bit of a dead end, and I don't plan on it being mine. Well, there's no need to be rude. Listen here, Mr. Mickey Rich. If you don't man that gun up front, we're in a heap of trouble. No need to worry, Miss Rita. I'm a crack shot. Several of the St. James's were well known for their rifle skills. As a matter of fact, my cousin Edward was... Ah, oh, we're doomed. Did you see that? They were coming up fast, but twang, 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 splash one, splash two, and that one that got close, kapow! Did you see it? Did you? Yeah. Good job, Rodent Hood. You managed to waste almost half my ammunition with all the misses. My mum could have taken them out in half the time, and she's a seamstress from Surrey. 
Look! What? Are you gonna cry now? Kensington mice can't take a little constructive criticism. Look out! All right, what are you on about? Oh, look at that. What a mess. Gonna have to dock your pay to fix all this. Dock their pay? <laughs> dock. <laughs> That's rich. You crack me up, Spike. I think the boss will want to see this one. Now, nah, Whitey. We got it, boss. Me and Whitey got the ruby. We got Rita, too. Hello, my dear. We meet again. Hello, short squat and warty. And who's your new boyfriend, the waiter? Waiter? Actually, it's Roderick. Roderick St. James of the... Frankly, I don't care who you are. Now that I have my ruby, you two are nothing but a nuisance to me. I think it's time we put our guest on ice. Rather literal, isn't he? I think it's time you meet your maker. Your ice maker. <laughs> ice maker, that's rich. It makes me laugh every time. Start the machine. Rita, waiter chap, it's been ice knowing you. All right, no need to belabor the pun. Roddy, there's a paper clip in my back pocket. Can you get to it? What? You have some paper that needs clipping? We're about to die! Just get me the paper clip. Got it! You know, I just noticed you've got little hands, Spike. Like little lady hands, they are. Yeah, well, uh, they might be small, but they're little weapons, these. Nobody gets past old Spike and his deadly hands! Idiots. Oi! Fatso! I'll be taking this. After them! So, what's our plan? Our plan? My plan is to get out of here. No offence, but you've been nothing but bad luck to me since you set foot on my boat. It's better if we're on our own. Cheers! Better? Better for who? I'm going to get you. Got you now. Rita! Hey! It's me! Ruddy! Wait! I have decided to forgive you for leaving me! Rita! Rita! No! Wait for me! Rita! Rita! Huh. I finally caught up to you. Now if you'll just... Wait! Oh! Now you're just doing this on purpose! No help there? Or there? Well, this is it, Roddy old chum. It's either do or die, swim or sink. Most likely the latter. In either case. In we go! Oh. Well, I'll give you this much. You don't give up easy. Uh, oh. And I suppose I'll let you stay on the jammy, now you've dropped in. Ow! Well, don't just lie about. Could at least thank me for the rescue. Yes. All right. Thanks. Really. Oh, it's something I shan't soon forget. Oh no, now forty quid seems like an awful lot of money. Value of precious item is in eye of beholder. Maybe, mate. What I'm beholding is a rusty old piece of rubbish. It's going to cost half a day's pay. As Confucius once say. If merchandise not to customers liking, customers should get out of my shop. Search yourself, mate. I'll just head on down to the mall then. Oi, mate, at your boat in the harbour. <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> is that your sturdy watercraft capable of a rescue mission? The community has great need of a hero, dare I say. 
a chosen one, who can aid us in this crisis. Our orphanage will be consumed by a rising tide if no hero rises to the occasion. Please, we need your help. Orphans, eh? I was beginning to think that down here, gangster or thug was as close to cute and cuddly that there was. Nice attitude, that. If we weren't in such a hurry, I'd toss you off the docks. See if you can find a nice cuddle down in the muck. Yes, well, no need to take that sort of tone. Oh, just shut up and shove off. Now see here. Oh, you mean the boat. <laughs> right then. Oi! Steady. Just another second. Oi! Just fire the thing, Roddy! Almost there. Now! Come on, love. Just a little bit more. Oh! You really wish you'd warn me when you do that, but well done just the same. Seems you've got us out of that mess. Don't get too comfortable, love. We're not out of this yet. The water's getting low, and it's going to take everything I've got to get us through this. Yes! We did it! What do you mean, we? Well, you did the driving, certainly. But I did lend a bit of moral support. But anyway, credit is irrelevant. The mission is a success and we've done our good deed for the day. Well, well, well. Great to see you, my elegant friend. Since you made quick work of it last time, and my client was so impressed, he has requested you specifically to recover for him another bunch of flies. Seeing how you was the only gent capable of the job. What do you say, mate? Ah, glad you're so eager. Just return to where you were last time and dig a little deeper. Mm. Just look at this place! Do you have any idea how long it would take me to clean up this mess? Oh, yes. Well, sorry about that, but you see... They were trying to eat me. No, no, don't worry. It doesn't matter. You see, when my seventh husband, Renaldo... Uh, oh, no, no, that was my, my fifth husband. Uh, oh, Edmundo! Yes, yes, Edmundo. When Edmundo was tragically taken from this world by me, I was overcome with indigestion. My children and me, we fall asleep in a banana crate and we end up here, in this horrible cesspool. I did my best to make it colorful, like at home in Brazil. Is it beautiful, no? Yes, it's lovely. I was admiring your decor before I... well, your... Oh, thank you. I, I, I try to make this place I would be proud to call... How you say home? A nice place where my children can bring their friends. A place for them to play, to devour their dinners in peace. The family that devours pray together stays together, no? Well, as much as I'd like to stay and help, I really must be going now. <laughs> no, 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 you must stay for a while. Come into my parlor, as they say. Never been much for parlors, actually. Always on the go, you know keeps me fit. That is the trouble with the people of this country. They don't know how to party. I suppose then that there's nothing left but to clean up this mess before my children come home and make another mess of their own. Of course, the quick snack first always makes the housework more fun. Don't you think? Well, yes. A spot of lunch does sound nice. What are we having? Uh... What's all that commotion about? That would be the football fans. It's always pretty noisy down here in Little Soho. But ever since England made it to the finals, things have got worse. Some of the fans like to come down here and stir things up. I think it might be best if we get out of here as quickly as possible. I heartily agree. Hi! That the best you got! Raw! This is the best I've got! Ah! Ah, you cheer! They call it Castle Siege. These lot have decided to settle their football fan rivalry in a more civilised manner than common rioters. Are you calling me a cheater? Why, I'll trip you good the next chance I get, you fungus eater! 
Right. Very civilized indeed. Looks like oodles of fun. I like how you think, Rod. Let's give it a go. Bonjour. Comment allez-vous? Oh! Ah! I am so sorry for the startling. I am, uh, how you say, stealthy. Stealthy? That is what I thought. Anyway, you will come quietly, no? No. Ah, the lovely Rita. Charmed to make your acquaintance. How do you so love a woman with a fire in her belly? <laughs> what do you want, LeFrog? I am on a mission for my cousin the Toad. He has sent me to bring you to him. And that is what I am going to do. So, heave it to, or whatever it is you notable types do, see we play. And uh, let us be done with this. There is a dock ahead. We will stop there, yes? Whatever you say. Run, Roddy! Run! You! Take care of the girl! I will find this roddy person. Silly English, with your Brit pop singers and your large Ben clocks, you cannot defeat Le Frog. <laughs> For Kensington! You are defeated, sir! Yield! Au revoir, Monsieur Mouse. Doodle Pip. What the? All right, what are you on about? Come here, you. Let's have a word. This has not been my day. I wonder if I left the kettle on at home. Oh, the boss don't pay me enough for this. Let me go, you lab reject! Yes, there's no need to be so rough about this. So, I see you've managed to capture the egregious vermin at last. Ah, uh, no, sir. Uh, boss, just these two. Who's we just vermin? So good of you and your waiter friend to join us again, Rita. The pleasure is not mutual, I assure you. Don't speak too quickly, my dear. You see, you have arrived at a rather auspicious moment. You will be witness to... The Amphibian Dawn! The Amphibian Dawn is my master plan to rid the sewers of rodent kind once and for all. In mere minutes, my brilliant plan will come to fruition. Ever since the Prince lost me away down the loo so he could spend quality time with that horrible, buried, nasty rodent he got for his birthday, lo, those many years ago, I have drained off this moment. Of course, you couldn't begin to understand the complexities, the intricate planning, the sheer genius that goes into such a grand endeavor. Everything hinges on the finals and that floodgate that looms over Raptropolis. Quite obvious, really. Oh, it is not obvious! Certainly it is. Millions of Londoners will be watching the game, consuming gallons of liquid. And when the game reaches half-time, they'll need to, um, dispose of that liquid. <laughs> Why? You! What? My, you, he, indeed. At the very moment that nearly every toilet in London is in use, you will open the floodgate. And instead of a great flood destroying the city as that wonky, but admittedly accurate, street profit keeps going on about, the city will be destroyed by a great flush! Stop it! This is my moment! You think you're clever, do you? Well, I'll have the last laugh when every one of you filthy rodents are flushed away! Surely we'll be safe up here. Yes, you would. Unfortunately, our time together has come to an end. Ah! Ah! Um, 
um, if you said all the rodents was being flushed away and we are rodents, uh, don't that mean... It means... Don't just stand there! Make sure they don't escape! Cheers, mates. Wasn't expecting you lot to drop in. Um, we was to make sure you don't escape. Make it easy on yourself, Rita. We don't want to hurt you. Well, we do. But, uh, we're kind of knackered right now, to be honest. Uh, yes, my dear. Let's not fight. There are so many better ways to spend our time together. No, thanks. I'll take the fight if it's all the same to you. Huh? Have it your way, love. Your toast, you are! That the best you've got? This is gonna hurt. Right, now I'm angry. No one gets away from me! Come on, then! The obstacle course at home was never like this. Oh, wonderful. Well, I'm not going in there. Stop right there, you Chrysotidian Cretan! Well then, on second thoughts... <laughs> Pathetic creatures, your time is now at an end. Well, ready or not, here I go! Oi! That's so! I think I'm about to ruin your big moment, love! Get yourself into these messes, Rita. Well done. Seems like the evil demise of rodent kind has been stopped cold. Ugh. I think you've spent a bit too much time around our warty friend. Speaking of whom, where has he gone off to? He uh, tried to stop the floodgate closing and got a bit tongue-tied. Ah! Well, Rod, I suppose this is it then. You'll be off to Kensington and I'll be off on my holiday. Yes, well, I was thinking about this Drains of Europe trip of yours. You, um, you wouldn't happen to need a first mate, would you? Rod, say no more. I'd be happy to have you along. If you don't mind taking a risk or two. Risk? What are you talking about? I thought we were leaving all that behind. Anything worth doing is worth taking a risk. <sighs> See ya. Rita! Rita! Oi! Do you want to be my first mate or not? Are you gonna stand there gaping or are you coming down? Well, as they say, nothing ventured and all that. Off I go! And a fine landing if I do say so myself. Whoa! You did that on purpose. I demand an apology. Tell you what, I'll let you be captain every other day. 